Okay, if everything has gone according to plan, we should be live on YouTube. Hello everyone and welcome to another live streamer today. It's Prime Day, ladies and gentlemen, our favourite holiday every single year where we celebrate capitalism and commercialism. And of course, we'll be doing our annual Prime Day special stream. Now, I know that a lot of you are planning to buy a lot of great things with a lot of great deals on Amazon Prime Day. However, I know of a way where not only you can help support a small media outlet like our own, while also ensuring that Daddy Bezos gets less of your money. And that's called our Amazon links down in the video description below. Because if you buy anything, literally anything, be it today or any other day, using those links, then we get to the money while you don't pay anything extra for the awesome stuff you buy on Amazon. So whatever, let's get started. If you're a veteran to this channel, first of all my apologies for having to constantly watch my awful videos. However, you probably know how this works already, and that is we are building a PC using only stuff that is on sale. So sometimes the config may not make too much sense, however, it, it is what it is. I'm just trying to show you exactly what you can get with Prime Day. And again, it's a bit of a challenge trying to find things that match, that fit together, that make a common sense build using only stuff that's on sale. Like every single year, first of all, we have to pick out a budget. We usually go for around any, anywhere from like $1,000 to $2,000. Obviously, with stuff like inflation being what it is nowadays, prices are all over the place. So I need your suggestions for what we should make our budget this time around. And if there's any kind of, uh, you know, particular thing you want us to kind of focus on in this live stream, be it an AMD only build as an extra challenge, whatever. But first of all, just let me know what kind of budget we should be working with. I have the live chat right here. And yeah, just let me know exactly what budget we should be sticking to this time. I think we did like uh, $2,000 before, like one... $1,500 before, I think we did like $1,000 before, uh, that was extremely difficult just to get anything, a, a proper PC under $1,000 with just the that was on sale, that was difficult, I remember that. So definitely let me know your suggestions and if there's anything you especially really need me to hear and if you want to also, you know, show off to everyone else in the chat and there's also super chats an option because again they support this channel so you can continue to grow and do our thing. And yeah, so let me know what kind of budget we should be working with. Uh, uh, someone says, could you help me build my first PC? My budget is $1,000 without a monitor because I already got one. Well, then this stream could potentially be very, very helpful. Like I said, under $1,000, it is difficult, but definitely not impossible, especially if you use stuff on the secondhand market from sites like eBay. But for the purposes of this live stream, we are just sticking to Amazon. And because I know last time we had some issues with... Um, some stuff not being fully available because like delivery or whatever so i said my um address the most american address there is uh so it being shopped to the postcode or zip code sorry uh of the white house so yeah i'll be ordering some stuff for biden today someone suggested twelve hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars honestly twelve hundred dollars that could be a cool in between challenge we have never done twelve hundred dollars should we do $1,200? I think that could be pretty interesting. $1,500 about accessories with a Ryzen 5 5700X. Again, that depends on if it is on sale or not. First of all, I need to check. Can you guys see my uh, cursor? You should be able to see my cursor. So, yeah. First things first, 5700X. Let's see if it's even on sale. I don't even see it at all. What on earth is this stuff? That <laughs> None of this is what I asked for. Ryzen 5700X, and I'm filtering it, so I should only get stuff that's on sale. I don't think it's on sale, unfortunately. We have the 5600X on sale. I was hoping that in here, in the recommendations, it would give me the... There's the 5700X. However... Yeah, it's not stated as a Prime Day deal. Uh, it's just kind of a discount it has permanently right now. Honestly, down from $320 to $172, that's a pretty big discount, but again, for the purposes of the stream, you're only doing stuff that has a little Prime Day badge, just as a kind of extra challenge. So should we do $1,200? I, I would happily do that. So let's start with CPU. Let's just kind of go here, uh, Prime Day CPU, and let's see 
what exactly we have. <laughs> you could get a 12, uh, 700 KF for 220. Granted, that would eat up a lot of a budget, especially when you can get, okay, 5600X, $133. Do you need anything more? I think already have a CPU, unless anyone can see anything better, I think we'll be sticking with that. You can get the... Oh, okay, no, the 12600K won't be really worth it. I think we already have our CPU. What on earth is this, and why is it on sale? Why on earth, out of all the things that could be offering me, your Intel Celeron G5920. A, 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 a dual core. An LJ1200 socket dual core Celeron. Why? Why is that? I don't know. I gave up hope in like the Amazon recommendation filtering system long, long ago. So it doesn't surprise me still like that's even on sale. Okay, so again, all of these parts, I need a confirmation, guys. So if you, so just give me like a thumbs up, thumbs down, if we should be going with this. Oh yeah, I forgot it comes with stock cooler as well. So, okay. I'm gonna leave the cooler to last because if we have some room spend our budget, I will get an aftermarket cooler. But if not, we can always stick with the, uh, the, the stock cooler, the Wraith Prism. No, it's not the Wraith Prism, it's the Wraith. Uh, I think that's a stealth. Yeah, sure. And with the magic of me being prepared, I can do this. And now. I'm in my uh, spreadsheet where we'll be ke keeping track of everything. So this is $133.08, if I remember correctly. Yep. Awesome. We're done. Okay, not saying we're done, but we're done with choosing CPU already. It usually takes much longer than that. Anyway, um, now for a motherboard. So let's just go AM4 motherboard. I'm not uh, specifying a chipset, mainly because you can get some pretty good deals on even X, uh, X570 stuff. I say that, and the first X570 motherboard it gives me is $330, so no thanks. But, I mean, P550 stuff is dirt cheap now. I can even get whatever a Maxon A520 motherboard is for $63. I probably wouldn't go that low. I mean, it doesn't even have memory expansion. It even has, like, two slots, so, like, nah. But... So can MSI B550, that's fine. It's just something a bit more feature rich though. It sure we still have too many choices. Like, what enough is this stuff? Machinist LGA50. That isn't even AMD. Why is it giving me an Intel 4th gen motherboard? Oh, Amazon never change. We always have a Tosuni, which is also not an AMD board. We also have stuff that is AMD, but is uh, AM5 and not AM4. Nice one. Uh, someone asked, what theme are we going for? Honestly, with $1,200, we'll be going for the theme of... It's $1,200, okay? If we can choose out, like, white-only parts or something, that could be great. But again, we are only selling to stuff that is on a Prime Day sale. And I don't even think we're going to get an AM5 wide motherboard. That is kind of white, but okay, that's X670, so never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can do like an all white, because again, we don't even have a wide motherboard to start off with. So what kind of motherboard should we go with, guys? Now, let me know what you think. We, something like the B550M Elite could be fine for Mayoris. I mean, I, I love Gigabyte motherboards, as you know, like the rear I.O., beautiful, and also just the kind of the internal layout, everything makes a lot of sense. So it could be my fanboys I'm speaking, but I am kind of tempted to go with that. <sighs> I honestly was hoping we could get some better deals for an AM4 motherboard. If not, we could just probably stick to this. I mean, it gives you pretty much everything you need, I think. Do you even have DVI? I mean, what more do you need in DVI and PS2? This board has everything. It has six USB ports, which to be fair in 2023 is bordering un unacceptable in my humble opinion. <sighs> but again, when we set ourselves such an arbitrary challenge, here's the thing guys, should we, I hate that it keeps on deselecting that. Okay, should we go for a more expensive but feature rich mover board, such as the Tomahawk, but then we'd have to sacrifice something else. It's $174, so literally double the price, more than double the price of the other one. 
but this thing will just be such a better experience. Granted, it actually has... Okay, here's something interesting. It actually has less um, USB ports in that one. Granted, it has one of the USB A's is a USB-C, so the total number of USB ports is the same. But if you're just using a lot of USB-A devices, that's going to be a problem. Just the fact it has USB-C is awesome, though. Optical spitter, which is cool. Sadly, we don't have DVR anymore. So that's going to be a huge disappointment for a lot of people, I know. That's sarcasm, if you didn't catch it. Who on earth uses DVI in this day and age? You have Wi-Fi though as well, that's kind of sick, so... And of course, just internally, you have so much more connectors for everything. So let me know what you guys think. Should we go with the less expensive one? Or this one? Granted, the difference for what you get... I, I was hoping that seeing how it's, you know, more than double the price, I was hoping to get more of that one. I'm honestly kind of disappointed how little, in terms of like rear I.O. Uh, we get. What about this one? It's an M80X board. Gra we can maybe go for an M80X build. That could be cool. Okay, so we have already two more USB Type-A ports for eight total. However, you don't get 2.5 gig Ethernet, which you got on the other one. You only get three audio jacks for audio. You get DVI again, so that's good. Hmm. I actually don't know. Which one do you guys prefer? I have the three that I... Oh my god, can it stop resetting the... Mmm. So, between the MSI B550 Gaming Gen 3, which is the cheapest... Oh no, this one's the... Oh, okay, so I think this one is just yeah, out of the question. This one has more USB-A ports. It is M80X, so if you want to build a more compact build, that's an option. So it's going, uh, it's going to come down between this one and the MAG B550 Tomahawk, which is literally almost twice as expensive as the as this one. Oh yeah, why do you think this one's 70... I kept on saying more than twice as expensive, because I thought this one's $70. No, it's $98. It's almost $100, so yeah. Never mind, that's even worse of a deal than I imagined. So yeah, this one or the MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk. Let me know what you think. They still make boards with DVI? Yeah, I'm surprised myself, honestly. You could just spray paint them with a board. You could. I, I don't think that's, you know, that recommended, but whatever. What would we choose to sacrifice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the issue. Let me know what you guys think. Because I'm honestly not sure. Unless we just leave the mobile board for now, see what kind of budget we have left over for other stuff, and then come back to it. We could also just do that. And by the way, if you like this water bottle, it's available in a merch store. I could just leave it. Are there any other like, really good deals I'm missing here? You can get this um, Intel H81 motherboard for $51 for some reason. You have AM5, AM5, no, that's LG7000, LGA1155, LGA1150. What is it, Amazon, that you don't get? That when I put AM4 motherboard in search, that I only want motherboards with the AM4 socket. What don't you get? Avoid PCIe Gen 3. Yeah, issue is that um, most people won't get that much use out of PC Gen 4. At least for, at least for storage. With both of these mobile boards, I'm pretty sure you are getting at least PCIe Gen 4 for the graphics card. I just know. I think I could be PCIe Gen 4 for the SSD. Huh. Let's check. Do you get PC Gen 4 for the graphics card? Because that could definitely be a bit of a bottleneck with current gen systems, but I don't actually see it written anywhere. Ultra durable PC slot, I think that is gen 3. Uh huh, hmm. Or well, actually, no. Let me quickly check. Okay, I'm going to quick, quickly just check on my phone because if I try to do it on. On uh, in Chrome, it's gonna probably mess up the sh live stream. So it's the uh, B550 M Eurus Elite. Does it have a uh, PC? It does have. Okay, so it does have PC Gen 4. That is the wrong motherboard, yeah? No, that's the wrong motherboard. 
B550M, yeah, okay. Features. Yeah, okay, so it is PC Gen 4 compatible. So it, you won't be being bottlenecked with like current gen graphics cards. Okay, yeah, people are saying come back to it. We will come back to it. So what another is uh, next on my list? Next is uh, memory. So let's do that. RAM. Prime Day RAM. There we go. We are sticking to DDR4 because, you know, B550. Definitely more than 8 gigs. And definitely not re <laughs> laptop memory, really. That's one of the top options. DDR5. Um, <laughs> anything from brands I've actually heard of? I heard of Asgard. Granted, it's white, so it's not going to really fit the rest of the build. You have cru Okay, you have crucial stuff here. 32 gigs. It is a bit overkill. <sighs> Judging by just how cheap 32 gigs is. Okay, is 16 gigs on sale as well? It is not. However, you're getting 32 gigs, which is $51. I think we should just probably go with it anyway. It's going to make the PC last a lot longer. It's just going to make it so much more versatile. And again, it's just $51, $52 for DDR4. I wish DDR4 was so cheap when I was buying into it, okay? I think I'm actually going to go with this. Have we actually ever did a PC before at its kind of price point in one of these live streams that cost, that, that has 32 gigs of memory and it costs only $1,200? I don't think so. And it's... 3200 mega transfers, mega perts, whatever you want to call it. So, okay, let's do it. Bam. How much did I say? 52? Yeah, $52. Cool. CPU cooler, I'm not going to do just yet because, like I said, we do have a stock cooler already. So let's probably go to the most difficult part every single time. And that is the graphics card. I'm not trying to do this live stream. Oh, wrong button. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I remember trying to do this live stream during like the big graphics card shortages, and there was like nothing. We we overpaid so much for just like the simplest graphics card. It was not fun. The live stream should uh, should still be on the channel. So if you want to go back and see exactly what kind of build you could get every single year. I think that's a really fun way of kind of just tracking the history of, you know, of pricing and what kind of stuff was available. Anyway, so we do have some pretty good deals here though. 3060 for $275. 4070 for 665. That would eat up a lot of our budget, but I honestly think we could actually do it. Right now we have what, $185. We could do it. We could be looking at a situation where some of the other stuff, like the case or the storage, we would have to sacrifice a bit. But it's a 4070. You know, it's a pretty sweet graphics card, especially for $670. So, should we do it? Am I crazy or should we do it? You can also get the 6750 XT for 355. Though given our budget, I'd rather I'd say we can definitely afford something better than that. 6800 XT, 4080. <laughs> Just the 4080 in itself would eat up our entire budget, and that's on sale already. Insane, absolutely insane. People are saying uh, 6700. Uh, did I miss it? Where was it? 6700. There's the 6750. There's the XT. Again, it's a good choice. It is cheap, but I do definitely think we could afford something much, much better in the live stream in in our budget here. How about a GT710, guys? Why is this even on? First of all. Number one, why is it still on Amazon? And number two, 
Why is this even on sale? Well, I know why it's on sale, because literally no one wants it, but still. <laughs> Just in context, guys, if you don't know, this card doesn't even have a fan. It's literally <laughs> so basic. Uh, 1700 XDX would eat up too much of a budget. I actually think we could get away with the 4070. What do you guys think? I think 6800, 67, 3080, 12 gig. Uh, where was the 3080? 3080, 3080. Where Art Valve 3080? This is 3050. Duh, 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 duh. Radeon HD 6770? Okay, why? GT 610? Uh, 4080, okay, let's look at the next page. I actually think that the 4070 makes the, much, uh, the most sense in all of this. We still have a fair bit of a budget left over. And, I mean, it's gonna give us pretty good performance. It's 12 gig, so that's plenty of VRAM right now, and for at least a couple more years. Even at 4K, it's gonna be pretty good performance. Yeah, should we go for it? So, 4070, 3070. Decide, guys. I'm going to decide for you, and what I decide on is probably going to be the 4070. And is this some kind of, like, game bundle? Oh no, I think it's like a movie tie-in or something. Wait, so is it actually like Spider-Man? Oh, it is like Spider-Man themed. Huh. So if you're into, like, Spider-Man, if you're into, uh... If you had a new Spider-Man movie a lot, we actually get a whole bunch of stuff. Get stickers, some figurine, tote bag, decals. Honestly, sure, why not? Can't say I care. I don't think, actually no, I've seen like at least like the original Spider-Man movie, but that's about it. So if you people care about Spider-Man that much, then sure. Uh, whatever. We can now say that the theme of this PC is uh, Spider-Man. Why not? Uh, duh, 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 duh. And switch to Excel. And that's $665. So we still have a fair bit of a budget left over. Oh, we have a lot more people joining in. Hello, hello, welcome to the live stream, everyone. I hope you are enjoying it so far. Like I said at the very start, we're trying to build a PC here using only stuff on sale. On, on uh, some kind of Prime Day sale today, because it is the glorious holiday, the most cherished and, cherished and sacred of days, Prime Day. And, like I said, so, yeah. Do, 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 people, people are actually still joining in. Awesome. I don't know why. It's These are like some of the most popular live streams I ever do. Just me literally looking on Amazon. Literally just browsing the internet. So yeah, if there's something you really want me to read and you want to help support the channel at the same time, Super Chat's an option. Otherwise, definitely leave your suggestions what kind of parts we should be using in this build as well. Anyway, NVMe SSD time. Prime day, because it keeps on deselecting it for some reason. Already 990 Pro, 2 terabytes for $130. I don't think we have to <laughs> look any further than that. That is a pretty good deal. Down from $200, uh, $290 it was before. That's a pretty big sale. And with a 2 terabyte drive, because in the Excel spreadsheet you may have seen I added like 2 spots for drives. Because I want like a primary storage drive for like Windows and like your... The stuff you need to be like, really fast, like I don't know, like some really large games, whatever, and then like a second bulk storage. Like, I don't know, like a larger SATA SSD or a um, or hard drive. But honestly, if you have a 2 terabyte Gen 4 NVMe SSD, I don't think you need too much else, at least for now. Obviously, in the future, you probably need more, especially seeing how soon games will be like, I don't know, 1 terabyte each. You can also get the Lexar NM800 for, one, uh, for six, $65. That's 
one terabyte Gen 4. That's also awesome to see. Let me know what you think, guys. Should you just go for a single large drive? So a two terabyte Gen 4 SSD from Samsung. So it's going to be fast. It's going to be reliable. And again, it's two terabytes. So you can fit both your operating system, all your essential apps, and at least like one or two current AAA games on there. I think that's actually the most sensible thing. So I said Samsung one terabyte. Um, for which AM5 mode board I recommend? I don't know which ones are on sale, but my, uh, this generation, my favorite are the Gigabyte ERS mode boards and the MSI mode boards. Like they have the best, like best value stuff right now. So look into like stuff like the ERS Elite, MSI Pro, MSI Tomahawk. Those are pretty good. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 what is this? Samsung 980 Pro, also two terabytes, but even less, $99. What is going on here? Plus two months of Adobe Creative Cloud Photography. Huh. Now that's interesting, and you get a heatsink with it. Deal upon deal! What a fail, Samsung, you have this thing, which is literally a better deal than your other identical... I, I don't care. Okay, yeah, we're so grabbing this. I don't care what you guys say, we're doing this. This is a steal for $100, I'm sorry. And we still have, what, $250 left of our budget for a PSU case, fans, and if we have anything left over... Actually, oh, never mind, we still need a motherboard. I see a problem. Actually, nah. If we... We are gonna have to stick with the MATX mode board, like the Aorus Elite MATX mode board. Just to kind of make this budget work. Because we did blow a lot of money on the graphics card, but then again, it's just like the one of the best graphics cards you can get right now for that kind of price. Apparently you can get the um, WD Black 2 terabytes. Uh, how much is that actually? Let me check. If it's even on sale, that is. Uh, da, 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 da. You can get a dogfish SSD, whatever that is. Actually, SK Hynix has some pretty good stuff as well. Okay, these are Gen 3. The Gen 4 one is actually a bit. The 2 terabyte Gen 4 one is actually a bit more expensive than the um, Samsung one. Give me a second, I need to open up the window a bit more. I'm literally going to boil alive in here. I don't, why do I wear this turtleneck for this live stream? I'm going, to literally, I'm going to literally boil here. Okay. There's the WD Black. Oh no, that's the um, SN850X. That's also 4 terabytes. We don't need that much. Yeah, I'd say we just stick with that one. And now we also get our answer to what motherboard we need. So we go back to AM4 motherboard. And now I remember to, I wanted Prime Day deals. So we're gonna go with this one. It's an MATX, so it's gonna limit your PC expansion a bit, but at the same time, I don't think anyone needs more than like two PC 16X slots and a 1X slot. Granted, with the size of 4070, probably both those slots are gonna be covered anyway. But at the same time, what kind of expansion cards people put in the graphics, uh, in the systems nowadays? I honestly don't even know, so. Yeah, this is an this is a mobile board for ninety seven dollars, which means we still have about a hundred and fifty dollars left in our budget for. Okay, we don't need a second drive, but for uh, PSU case and any additional fans. So let's start off with the PSU. Because a good value PSU is probably going to take up a fair amount of our remaining budget. And we probably try to aim for something that's at least like 750 to 850. But also something from a more reliable brand than Red Dragon, or this one which is even stated brand. A APFC, sure, whatever that is, or Pi Star. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Thermaltake, however, 
I mean, at least I heard of them. And I don't think... Yeah, I don't see anything other uh, than a lot of fire hazards here. <laughs> you have the Corsair one, however, that's like way above a budget. $170 for a power supply, that's insane. That's on sale already. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with the... Uh... With the one from... Thermal Take. I have no idea if they even make good power supplies. However... You can also get the MSI MPG A500G, and that's a um, ATX 3.0 compatible one. Is this one of the new ones that have like the yellow connectors? I don't think it is. No, it's still using like uh, the black ones. That could add, okay, but still, it's PC Gen 5 slash ATX3 ready. So it's already compatible with the brand new standard from NVIDIA. It's 850 uh, watts, so honestly you could probably squeeze an even slightly better graphics card in the, in the future. Is this stream frozen? Yeah, the period frozen for a while. Anyway, yeah, let me know if the stream's still alive, because YouTube's yelling at me for some reason. It would eat up a lot of our budget, however. I'm gonna put it here just for now, unless anyone has anything to say. Oh, wait a second, you can't see what I'm looking at. I'm so sorry, guys. So yeah, this is the power supply app I'm looking at right now. So this is M MSI MPG A850G. It's gold rated, 850 watt, and it does feature native support for a new 16 pin connector, which the 4070 uses. And it also saves you the hassle of upgrading the PS2 if you want to get a slightly faster graphics card in the future. Granted, you probably won't be able to run something like a, you know, a 4090 Ti or whatever. Uh, kind of the, the next card will be. But... I don't know. I think it could actually be worth it. So, for $130... Where does it leave us? Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to sacrifice something here, because... We have... What? Like... <laughs> less than $30... What? $23 left for a case, so... Sorry, but I think we are gonna have to go with the, um... We had Thermal Take one, which I don't, I don't know how much I trust. I don't know if Thermal Take make good stuff or not, but like, whatever. But if, yeah, if our budget, or like, if your budget is even at least a bit more flexible, if you're in a similar uh, situation, I would go for that MSI one. Just because it's just, again, it's, uh, it's fully modular, unlike this one, which is semi modular. Native support for the brand new connector. Oh, actually, no. No, no, scratch all of that. If I were you, I'd wait and get a PSU that is natively compatible with the brand new 12 volt 6x2, or is it 2x6? I can't remember. Basically, am I still stuck on... There we go. <laughs> Sorry. If, um, basically, if you haven't heard, NVIDIA and the P uh, PCIe guys and like ATX guys, they revise that controversial 16 pin connect that's been causing all those you know burning issues so now it's a bit safer and i'd probably just wait for that some cards that are already on the market are actually using it so i'd probably just wait and get one of those psus however in the meantime i'd just get this for the purposes of this live stream so 70 uh 80 dollars for this and we still have a Nice budget left for a case. We are we are just not gonna be able to afford a C uh, CPU cooler that's above the um, the stock one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go here AMD Wraith Stealth I think it's called for zero dollars in total. But it would be something that you definitely want to upgrade as soon as possible. Again, if you're trying to replicate this build, kind of, whatever. You want to get something much, much uh, quieter. 
And something that would allow you to at least overclock the CPU a bit further, seeing how it is unlocked. Okay, so, um, PC case. Final thing. Oh, uh, maybe final, but maybe it's a penultimate thing, because, uh, we could use some fans as well. How much do they say we have left over? Just shy of, uh, roughly $70. $73 or whatever. So we need to find a case that's under debt. We get these, uh, get this Antec AX series AX61. Uh, that looks pretty good. This one will be slightly above, unfortunately. Granted, we could go for an, um, for an MATX case. Seeing how we do have this slightly uh, smaller motherboard. But at the same time, I don't see anything like that on sale. This one looks pretty cool. I've never heard of Amundsen before. That's a nice looking case. How many fans would it actually include? It includes two already. It is MATX only. Or ITX. That's good, because that's what we have. It only has two fans though, do I again? As a starter? That's pretty... Hmm. What do you guys think? I actually think this could be a pretty good thing. Is the stream lagging again, or is it just my laptop just like not being able to display it? No, I think it's fine. I hope. Yeah. Okay, so... Should we just go with this? It looks fantastic. You'll be able to mount what? It comes with two already, so you'll be able to mount one, two, three, four, five more in the future. It's spe specifically made for MATX. However, the airflow at the start could be a bit of an issue, especially with 4070. So I wanted to check one more thing. Does this Antec one come with any more fans? This one includes four fans, and that might be the, the deciding factor. Even though I prefer the look of the other one, and probably a lot of you do as well. But this one just has more fans, and you can't win with that. And I don't want to... I don't want to just... If it was like cheating, just saying, oh, if you're doing this build, you can just buy this stuff later. No, that feels like cheating. I want something that is a really good... The second you buy all these parts at $1,200. Not like, oh, if you invest $50 more a month later, and then another $50 more a month after that, then it's going to be fantastic. No, I want it to be good from the very start. So, I think we are going to have to stick with this, unless anyone has seen any other good suggestions. Again, I'm disappointed we can't get the other one, but... It is what it is. You can also da daisy chain the fans together. That's pretty cool. They are RGB fans as well. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go with this. And it's Antec. I mean, they make good stuff. So, this is what we're going with for $68. Which means we have $5 left. What on earth can we buy for $5? Let's just go into... Uh, where is it? Where, where is... Uh, I, I just want electronics. Where on earth is electronics? Hello, electronics. I just want the electronics category, please. Can you get like a iPhone cable? You can get a USB to USB. <laughs> Actually, sure, because I don't think this motherboard comes with a um with a, a USB-C port, so just to max out our budget actually, oh, no, this is the wrong way around, never mind yeah, because that's USB-C to USB-A, we need the other, uh, ray, uh, other way around I don't think we'll find too much useful for uh, $5 here what can we get for $5, guys? I know what we could get me actually switching over to uh, <laughs> the browser. I'm so bad at this. Oh my word. Ah, oh, there's another one, but the actually no. For five thirty. 
and you get a 10% coupon, which means you would be within a budget. You could get that. I don't know. Whatever. That's, I, I'm just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just killing time. Either way, we put together a pretty good PC here, guys. We have a 5600X, which so it's a last-gen 6-core CPU, and honestly, you don't need too much else for just pure gaming. Especially if you're going to get a higher resolution, which, if you have an RTX 4070, you probably are. So we have an RTX 4070 Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse edition, whatever. Couldn't care less for that. You do get like a tote bag, some other extras, but the big thing is you get all of that for $665. You get a, I forgot to mention it right here. I'm gonna put it right here. So two terabytes PCIe Gen 4. You get a two terabyte PC Gen 4 SSD for $100. And that's like the one of the biggest steals I think of today. You get a Thermaltake PSC, which is like, whatever, and you get a pretty good case, which has uh, four fans included already for $68. And that's from Antec, a company that, sure, it isn't like a, a Corsair or a Fractal when it comes to cases, but I mean, they've been around for so long and haven't gone bankrupt yet, they have to be doing something right. I almost forgot, you get 32 gigs of RAM as well. So yeah. And because it's a 2x16 gig configuration, it could expand it even more. You could go up to 64 gigs in the future if you really need to for some reason. I don't know why, but it's an option. So yeah, guys, what do you think of this build? Let me know in a live chat. I am actually really happy. I don't think I've been hap this happy with a, um, one of these Prime Day builds in a long time. Or like Black Friday builds either. Like this is actually really, really good. Let me know what you think in the live chat. And again, if there's something you really want to say, and if you want to support the channel at the same time, Super Chat's an option. I know, I know I talk about uh, Super Chats a lot, but again, this is a company that we're trying to build here. It is a pretty awesome little, a um, very ambitious, a very expensive project we are trying to do here on this very channel. Trying to keep it running, trying to keep it alive, trying to have awesome projects in the future, so it does definitely go a long way even like a one or two dollar super chat people like it that is awesome and again if you are going to be buying anything on amazon prime today definitely use our links in the video description below or if you're watching the vod i'm going to remember to put it up in the i cards as well because if you use those links you can pay anything extra and we get some money that gets reinvested straight back into the channel and it doesn't have to be tech or it doesn't have to be whatever product it automatically links to i've literally made <laughs> i'm trying to remember what did i make money on uh tomato soup like anti-mosquito spray um what i was like tire caps i'm pretty sure antivirus software well, sounds like we, but yeah, basically just the most random, random stuff that people have bought using my links that I then made like a couple of bu bucks on. It's actually pretty insane. Yeah, it would definitely max out if you, if you're doing anything CAD related or anything that is really intensive. It would definitely max out the CPU and the RAM. That's why it's really awesome that in this build you can one expand to 64 gigs, and two if you just get a better um, a better cooler than a Wraith Stealth, you could probably overclock. Actually, even with Wraith Stealth, you could probably apply a bit of an overclock. But if you get the cooling uh, down, if you get something much better, you can probably also go a long, long way. Granted, you could probably. Uh, you can probably find some other pretty good CPUs on sale today as well if you're going Intel. Like, if we went Intel instead, this would probably look a lot different. Like, whatever kind of value we'll be getting out of CPU and motherboard. It's usually just one of those things that... One of the uh, biggest deciding factors of these live streams. It's like whether or not we go AMD or Intel, because like literally everything else, all the other budgeting falls in line after that. Why is that the most people are joining into this live stream when I'm about to end? I, I feel like I need to kill time now. 
So yeah, send me any more of uh, your thoughts or like opinions on this build. Tell me how bad it is in life, Shadow, whatever. I need to kill time here. Uh, uh, what else do I talk about? I don't know. It's a pretty good water bottle. Get in our merch store. I don't know. Actually, I will be doing another live stream very soon. I haven't done... I promise, earlier this year, I'll be doing live streams like at least once a month. I haven't done one since like February. <laughs> So this is the first one, and then we another one on the 26th, because that's when the brand new Samsung Galaxy Unpacked event is. So we're doing like a live reaction kind of thing to that. And then, you know, and I think like the next day, yeah, the next day I'll be leaving for Canada. I'll be going to LTX. I got invited by the LTT crew themselves, by the one and only Colton, I'm still in a fired Potter, to be a guest creator at LTX. I'm super excited for that. So that's going to be awesome. So yeah, I'm going to be seeing you there, seeing you at the other live stream. If you want even more live streams, I will be streaming a lot of Rainbow Six on the Evan World channel. If you're into gaming and see me fail at uh, ranked in Rainbow Six. And yeah, that's about it. Unless anyone has something, anything super, super important to say, send it as a live chat, send it as a super chat if you want to support the channel. And I guess that is about it. So, that is the final build. I am so, so happy with it. And if you enjoyed this live stream, make sure to, you know, subscribe, like, whatever. And I see you all in whatever.